do Muslims have to wear the hijab? Okay. How many say Muslims have to wear hijab? Raise your hand. Whoa. I don't think so. All the Muslims have to wear hijab? Not the boys! Come on! Oh, 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 wait. Muslim girls, sorry. Do the Muslim women have to wear hijab? How many say yes? No. It's not true. If I'm going to give you a one word answer, the closest answer, the closest answer to that would be no. If I can only say one word. Why? Well, because if she didn't want to wear hijab, it's okay. Just stay home. Huh? Yeah, you don't have to wear it. Do you wear it at home? No. You see, I want to make it clear to you. Because you know what? A lot of times, we think everybody comes from the same perspective that we do. But it's not true. Talk to anybody that's a Catholic. Oscar used to be a Catholic. Right? Stand up a second. This is Oscar. This is my friend Oscar. <laughs> Salam alaikum Oscar. He just accepted Islam with us a couple of days ago. And he came all the way up here. He came all the way here to be with us today. And uh, by the way, he's from Mexico, yeah? See, as for a dad, está muy bueno. You didn't know I could speak that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so, if somebody's Catholic, and they see the ladies dressed really nice, got hijab, everything, they, and, and even my, I took my wife to Mexico when we first entered Islam, and when we went down there, uh, they would come up to her and put their heads down, and they would say, you know, oh, sister, hermana, hermana, you know, because they think she's, uh, you know, uh, with the cross and all this stuff, and they want to give her some money. Even <laughs> I told her, it's good. Pick up some change, go down to Mexico, you know. But they think that the women of Islam are like the women of the Catholic Church. It's not the same. Because those women, when they accept this role as a nun, they can never ever get married. They can never have any children. They can never have any grandchildren. The church is their whole life. And that's very extreme. And also, they have to wear the hijab all the time. They go to a convent, which is nothing but women there. And they still have to wear it all the time, except to bathe or sleep. Otherwise, they're wearing it all the time. So when these people who are not Muslim see you guys, they think, oh, how horrible, how oppressing, oh my God. Because they're thinking of maybe of something that they have. But no, the only time you need to wear it, Allah said it in the Quran, is if some strange man can see you. And these days we've got a lot of strange men saying, better wear it, okay? It's twice in the Quran for those who want to do the research, check it out. Chapter 24, it's called Surah an nur verse 31, very clear. Let the khimar down over Juju Bahina. It doesn't say cover your chest with a dubutta. Okay? And then, uh, yeah, get it right. And then the other one is in chapter 33, verse 59, Ahasab. And this one, uh, Allah is talking again to the believing women. Both cases, he's talking to believing women. That's who he's talking to. And he's saying here to the Prophet, Ya Nabi, my Prophet, tell, ko, azwajika, your wives, wa benataka, your uh, daughters, and the believing women, that when they go out, they have to draw this abaya, jilbab, their hijab, all over their body. So this is why it's no good to be wearing tight blue jeans, running around with a pink scarf on your head going, Oh, I'm wearing a hijab! 